Good morning. It is Tuesday, April the 21st. This morning's call to prayer comes to us from Psalm 66. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. The request for presence comes from Psalm 67, 1 through 2. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. This morning's greeting is from Psalm 119, 54. Your statutes have been like songs to me wherever I lived as a stranger. The refrain for the morning lessons is from Psalm 51, 8. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. The reading this morning is from Luke eleven twenty seven and 28. It happened that as he was speaking, a woman from the crowd raised her voice and said, Blessed be the womb that bore you and the breasts that fed you. But he replied, More blessed still are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. This morning's psalm is Psalm 143, 1 and 4 through 8. Lord, hear my prayer, and in your faithfulness, heed my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift my soul to you. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. The cry of the church is even so. Come, Lord Jesus. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that I, who have been raised with him, may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. The concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. God bless you today and always.